You look around and what do you see? Maybe big cities, skyscrapers and airplanes flying in the sky. These things have been around for the very very short period of total history of Earth. History of Earth is 4.5 billion years old and lots have gone down during this history including Earth turning into a snowball. First dinosaurs, rat sized mammals, human like other species and what not. Experts distribute Earth's history in fragments and these fragments span over millions even billions of years. This Earth's history shaped the Earth we live on today. So let's dive in and explore it all. 4.5 billion years ago the universe decided it was time to throw a party and invited a bunch of gas and dust to join in. Things got pretty wild and before we knew it a solar system including Earth was born with a young and fiery host called Sun. Earth then took quite a few billion years before life could emerge on it. The duration of first few couple of billion years is called Precambrian period. It started with Earth's formation and ended 560 million years ago. While it is impossible to know for sure what was happening here in those long four initial billion years, some intriguing theories have been proposed about the possibility of advanced civilizations existing during this time or even extraterrestrial visitation. One such idea is Silurian hypothesis named after the Doctor Who species which postulates the existence of advanced societies in the distant past. We are not sure if any advanced civilizations existed but what we know with near certainty is that some microlife started in Precambrian and plants started to grow by the end of it. But that all was in the oceans. Finally, the Precambrian ended and its end is marked with extinction of life that existed back then. Talk about an epic way to end an era. It's like universe was saying, okay that's enough of that, time for something new. And earth became a snowball. Theories suggest that an earlier big bang had created countless glowing stars. Once its star perhaps reached its full life and died with an explosion. This explosion damaged the heliosphere of sun and sent oodles of cosmic rays toward earth. These cosmic rays made cloud seeds which covered the whole earth and turned it into a snowball. Absence of sunlight and extreme cold weathers as a result of earth turning into a snowball caused extinction on mass scale but simultaneously it also turned out to be a prelude to the new forms of life that were about to begin after it. When clouds of snowball earth went away, Cambrian explosion occurred. This wasn't an actual explosion but beginning of many different varieties and forms of biological life. This event is also called a biological big bang. Over the short span many new forms of life appeared. For the first time and not just in the oceans but on land as well especially on the shores and near seas. Experts believe by that time species had acquired vision as a result of evolution and using vision species moved from oceans toward land. Cambrian explosion also marks the beginning of next coming long span of Paleozoic era. Paleozoic era lasted from 560 to 250 million years ago. During this time first vertebrates appeared Fishes came in the ocean and subsequently came the amphibians. Salinity decreased in the oceans and amount of oxygen increased as well in the oceans and atmosphere. This increase in oxygen in atmosphere led to the formation of ozone layer. So now creatures were not exposed to harmful ultraviolet radiations of sun anymore. Complex life was thriving and evolving into further stages. Asteroids welcomed new life. 
it was a relatively rapid period of speciation that kicked off a long period of life flourishing on earth. Unfortunately, all good things must come to an end and the Paleozoic era ended with a real doozy, the Permian extinction, also known as the Great Dying. It was like the mother nature decided to hit the reset button and start all over again. And boy did she hit that button hard. 95% of life went extinct. Talk about a bad day. I mean, I have had bad days before, but at least I did not go extinct. After Permian extinction, Mesozoic era started. This was the era of dinosaurs and beginning of mammals and this era did last from 250 million years ago to 65 million years ago. Tree of life evolved further. Amphibians which had already showed up in Paleozoic era evolved further into reptiles. Mammals appeared as well but these were mostly rat sized nocturnal animals and lived in the shadows. However, for reptiles this was the time. These reptiles appeared and lived under warm climate and diversified into many varieties until they became dinosaurs. Although some dinosaurs were of the size of a big chicken or turkey like velociraptors which weighed around 100 pounds unlike how shown in movies but others grew bigger. The famous carnivorous T-Rex were 40 feet long and weighed around 8 tons. The biggest dinosaurs that existed were Supersaurus which were 33 to 35 meters long and weighed near 40 tons. Till this day, fossils of new species of dinosaurs are being discovered and roughly 700 valid species have been discovered and named already. These dinosaurs prevailed all over the earth, lived for around 200 million years and were at the pinnacle of ecosystem until another mass extinction was knocking at their doors. A meteorite hit the earth. This apocalypse turned out to be an end of these reptiles who were at the top of ecological setup for the last 200 million years. Although dinosaurs perished and went extinct as a result of meteorite hit, some species of mammals still survived the event. Lifestyles of mammals gave them an advantage when the asteroid struck the earth about 65 million years ago. Mammals that used burrows or lived in aquatic environments were shielded from the intense heat that briefly followed the impact. Once the heat was off, mammals could come back out and make the most of the remaining food resources. There may not have been enough food for dinosaurs, but the more generalized taste of mammals allowed them to hang on. Asteroid hit was also the close of another chapter in the history of Earth and marked the end of Mesozoic era. Then Zoic era followed after. It started 65 million years ago and is extended to the current day. It was the interval of time when smaller mammals were finally able to grow and become dominant. The climate changed drastically over a relatively short period of time, becoming much cooler and drier than during the Mesozoic era. An ice age covered most temperate parts of Earth, causing life to adapt relatively rapidly and also caused the rate of evolution to increase. All species of life evolved into their present-day forms over the course of the Cenozoic era which hasn't ended and most likely won't until another mass extinction occurs. Now this video is the first part of the series discussing past of planet Earth, present, possible future and probable ways of extinction of this planet. Subscribe our channel for the follow-up videos.